Hello and welcome uh, to the Wilcom Embroidery Studio video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to do the team names, uh, the basic team names inside the E4 program. First, what I'm going to, I'm going to navigate over, I'm going to left click here on um, this icon underneath the letter A for the lettering here. As I left click, it's going to pop up on the right side of my screen here the team name properties. At this time, I'll navigate, I'll left click on the manage team names here, which is going to give me a list here of manageable team names. Uh, we have this sample name here. Uh, if you have a team inside your uh, jurisdiction, it could be a volleyball, it could be lacrosse, uh, that you can add here by just clicking add and adding the name here uh, to your box. I click OK it'll add this here under my t under my teams now for my sample names okay that I can use um, you can uh, add delete or you can rename a, uh, a sample team here now I'm going to click back here I'm going to click on my sample team name here uh, from my list uh, here you have the rows that we're working with here name one name two and name three and it operates in rows. What I mean by that is if I wanted to add a name, I'll click here and I'll add Jim for name one. Jones for two. And on three, the city where he's from. Columbia. And as soon as I click OK here, it's going to add that here to the bottom of my list. Uh, we also have an option here also um, that we call quick names. Um, if a customer sends you 50, uh, 50 names in a Word document or an Excel file, uh, you can actually copy those names from those uh, places and paste them here also. Uh, the, the software is going to separate those names by adding a comma after each one of them. And so you can copy and paste those using the quick names. Um, once I've completed this, uh, I'm going to send my team names over now to my team name list here by choosing the add all. Okay. And once that adds everything here to my list here, I'm ready to go on the screen now. And as I navigate down, I'll click OK here. And I'm going to left click on the screen to place my uh, names on the screen. And I'm going to press G to generate my stitches here also. Uh, at this particular point here, um, we can go in and we can add uh, changes to, to the list here by going in. We have properties that we can uh, access here from our list here. Or we can go up top here for our properties. And uh, we can adjust underlays. Uh, if I want to just use a single run underlay stitch here, I can select center run. I can take off the secondary underlay stitch. Okay. Um, I can go to specials here if I need to go in and adjust this uh, and change the format of it. I can change the format of it like this. I'm going to undo it here. So any changes that I need to make, I can make those changes here. Um, if I need to go uh, to the properties here and go in and uh, change the width of the column here by going into our settings here. It's like select here. Uh, we can make this four inches wide which is going to force it to extend to only four inches. Okay. And so now what we have here is I select here. So the changes that we make here, we can actually go in and add them and uh, we can select everything here. Uh, we can remove selected here. We have different options here that we can choose from here that we can do. Well, so once we've done that and all of that is complete, um, the next thing we're going to do is we ready now to save the design uh, to a flash stick or send it to our machine? I'm going to navigate over here to the file drop down menu. I'm going to scroll down to export machine file. And from here, basically, we have an options tab that we'll select here. And on the next tab, we'll choose team names. Here is where the magic takes place with the team name list. This first option here is designed for a single head machine. And what happens here with the single head machine, with our list of names here in this order, um, 
we'll just put the we'll just hoop the machine press start if we have a if we have a design with this it'll stitch it like a baseball it'll stitch the baseball and the first name once that's done we'll take that one off put on a hoop it again it's going to stitch the same baseball but it's going to stitch the second name this time okay once that finishes we'll pull it off we'll press start we'll hoop it again it'll it'll stitch the same baseball but the third name okay and that is going to go down in this particular order here that you see on the screen the second option here is for a multi-head machine let's say if you have a six head machine or a four head machine or a two head machine we recommend you run six at a time or the four at a time or two at a time okay for this um, when we hoop all of the um, names here uh, with this let's say if it's, a, if it's a six head machine we'll hoop all those heads and we're going to press start this time it's going to stitch the baseball all six six times with our six head machine it's going to stitch those at once okay and once the initial name or the initial logo stitches out we're going to go in we're going to turn off head two through six okay so only head number one is going to be on and we're going to press start it's going to stitch the first name in the first hoop okay once that stops we're going to turn off head number one we're going to turn on head number two and we're going to press start it's going to stitch the second name in the second hoop okay again once that finishes we'll turn off head number two we'll turn on head number three and it's going to we're going to press start and it's going to stitch the third name in that particular order and so on and so on um, we can create if you have multiple machines um, on a network you can send them there here also if you have a huge design like a 14 inch jacket back and you have some lettering underneath that or something like that you can choose the, to stitch the design part only on your six head machine and it's going to run all of the huge designs first and what some people do they'll take the rest of that they'll leave leave the designs hooped they'll take that then from the six head machine to the single head machine and finish those off okay and it's going to stitch again in the same order here and here you have your auto start and in it's going to stitch in the center here and you're going to click OK and now you're ready to save your design to your flash stick or send it out to your machine and you'll just save it if you have a, a flash stick you will just uh, go in and locate your flash stick click on it and save your files to it or if you choose to send it out to your machine if you have a machine connection you can do it that way as well uh, that's going to do it today for our team names. Uh, we do thank you for joining us. And as always, we ask that you visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you.